Hello, um, it's pretty clear what I wrote right here, you know, this is me, and this is what I think. I think that the addition and subtraction formulas for trig are awesome, but I also want you to start to join me in this. I want you to start thinking about, okay, maybe all these formulas aren't so crazy and random, and in fact they're quite useful, and proving them and using them is really an awesome process. So I want you to start to be convinced of that. Let me get you there. So these are the addition and subtraction trig formulas we're talking about. We've got two for sine, two for cosine, and two for tangent. And I'm going to focus on this quick video. Um, let's use, I don't know, this, this one. Let's use the cosine addition formula right here. That the cosine of a times the cosine of b minus the sine of a times the sine of b equals the cosine of a plus b. Let's use that as our tool for convincing you that this is in fact an awesome idea. So let's start by rewriting it. And you wanna definitely write these out in the beginning so you can start to get the hang of them. The cosine of A plus B equals the cosine of A times the cosine of B uh, minus the sine of A times the sine of B. All right, so why is this awesome? How do we use this? Well, imagine you had a problem like this. You had to find the cosine of 75 degrees. Now, if you had to find out what the cosine of 75 is, you probably would plug it into your calculator. But let's step back and imagine we can't use a calculator, and we can only use what we know about special triangles. So we're talking about um, 30, 60, 90 triangles, and 45, 45, 90 triangles. Well, if we think about what we know about these special triangles, we might notice, hey, that's interesting, 30 plus 45, that is 75. So wouldn't it be nice, wouldn't it be awesome if 30 plus 45 equals 75, if that was somehow useful? And that is what this formula is all about. A and B could really be any kind of number, but we'll stick to the context of angles right now. The cosine of 30 plus 45 or you could write it as the cosine of 45 plus 30, doesn't matter, is 75. And this formula tells us that we can, in fact, then say, well, the cosine of the first angle or value A, which is 30, times the cosine of the second angle, B, so we start at A and B, uh, times the cosine of 45 minus the sine of the first angle, sine of A, times the sine of b, the second angle. So it's the sine of 30 times the sine of 45. So what this formula allows us to do is to break up an angle into special angles and then analyze those angles. So the cosine of 30, I'm just gonna do a quick sketch of a 45, 45, 90. So this is our 45, 90 triangle. And then I'll do our 60, 30, 90. Is that, is that a good sketch? Uh, not the best. That says 60 degrees. Uh, let's make the hypotenuse one in both cases so it fits what we know about a unit circle. So you can use the Pythagorean theorem to prove this, but these two sides are radical 2 over 2. And this side across, this is the 30 degree angle, is going to be half of the hypotenuse. And then this leg right here is that shorter leg times the square root of 3. And the cosine of 30, let's analyze that first. Here's 30 right here. It's the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So that's gonna be radical three over two. And then we're multiplying that by the cosine of 45. So go over here, so 45, radical two over two over one, so that's just radical two over two. And then we're gonna subtract the sine of 30. So we'll use red now. Sine of 30 is opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, so that's one half over one or just a half times the sine of 45, which is the same as the cosine, it's radical two over two, right? If we look over here, here's the 45, opposite over hypotenuse, and now we just evaluate this. Radical three times radical two is just radical six, minus, don't need a double minus there, one times radical two is just radical two, all over four, and that's our answer. So this is my first argument for you about why these are awesome. And maybe you're starting to think, oh man, all these crazy formulas right here, what they allow us to do is evaluate angles that we couldn't evaluate easily otherwise. So this is a really useful tool for analyzing all types of trig angles and ratios. All right, I hope this, this helped.